Hey everyone, it's Miss Hernandez back for another lesson. Today we're going to be doing lesson 113. What lesson? Get ready. Yes, 113. But before we start, of course, we have our warm up. All right, our warm up for today is going to be common information. So listen, what do we call a person who helps people get well? Get ready. Yes, a doctor. Say the whole thing about a doctor. Get ready. Yes, a doctor is a person who helps people get well. Now, can you tell me, what do we call something you take to get well? Get ready. Yes, medicine. Say the whole thing about medicine. Get ready. Yes, medicine is something you take to get well. What do you call a person who goes to a doctor? Get ready. Yes, a patient. Say the whole thing about a patient. Get ready. Yes, a patient is a person who goes to the doctor. Awesome job, round of applause for you. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started on our lesson. First exercise, listen. If I don't do the same thing you do, I'll do something that is different. Your turn, touch your head and keep on touching it. My turn to do the same thing you are doing. Watch. Now, my turn to do something that is different. Watch. Keep touching your head. I'll do some things. Tell me if they are the same as you are doing or something different. Same or different. Get ready. Yes, same. Watch. Same or different? Get ready. Yes, different. Watch. Same or different? Get ready. Yes, different. Everybody put your hands down. My turn to do something. Everybody do the same thing I am doing in five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. Listen, now I want you to do something different. In five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Listen, what am I doing? Get ready. Yes, touching your elbow. Are you doing the same thing? or something different. Get ready. Yes, something different. Good job, that was an awesome exercise. That would definitely be a student point. Let's keep going. We're going to talk about days and months. Listen, how many months are in a year? Get ready. Yes, 12, say the whole thing. Get ready. Yes, there are 12 months in a year. Name the 12 months of the year. Get ready. Good job. Let's say them together. Say the months of the year with me. Get ready. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. Good job. Now, everybody, how many days are in a week? Get ready. Yes, seven. Say the whole thing. Get ready. 
Yes, there are seven days in a week. Everybody say the days of the week. Get ready. Good job. Can you say them with me? Yes, let's say the days of the week. Get ready. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Good job. That's definitely a pat on the back. Awesome. Let's go to our next exercise. Listen, figure out this problem and I'll show you the picture on the next page. Listen, this problem is about a girl. The girl will paint the garage the girl will paint the garbage can or paint the fence. Again, the girl will paint the garbage can or paint the fence. What will the girl do? Get ready. Yes, paint the garbage can or paint the fence. Say the whole thing about what the girl will do. Get ready. Yes, the girl will paint the garbage can or paint the fence. Listen, let's see if you can figure out what she will, go, what she will paint. See if you can answer these questions. Will the girl paint the sidewalk? Get ready. No. Will the girl paint the fence? Get ready. Maybe. Will the girl paint the garbage can? Get ready. Maybe. Will the girl wash dishes? Get ready. No, silly goose. I'll tell you something else about the girl. Listen carefully. She will paint a container. Will she pa paint the fence? Get ready. No, a fence is not a container. Will she paint the garbage can? Get ready. Yes. Let's see if you're right. Look at the picture. What is the girl doing? Get ready. Yes, painting the garbage can. What is the boy doing? Get ready. Yes, painting the sidewalk. What is the man doing? Get ready. Yes, painting the fence. What is the dog doing? Get ready. Yes, sitting. Now answer these questions. Is the girl painting the fence? Get ready. No. Is the girl painting the garbage can? Get ready. Yes. Here are some more questions. Who is painting the garbage can? Get ready. Say the whole thing. Get ready. Yes, the girl is painting the garbage can. Who is painting the fence? Get ready. Yes, the man. Say the whole thing. Get ready. Yes, the man is painting the fence. Who is sitting? Get ready. Yes, the dog. Say the whole thing. Get ready. The dog is sitting. Good job. Last one. Who is painting the sidewalk? Get ready. Yes, the boy. Say the whole thing. Get ready. 
Good job. The boy is painting the sidewalk. Awesome job. You really blew through that exercise. All right, next exercise. Listen, I'm going to name some things. You see these things on the same object. See if you can think of the object. Listen, a paper and a pencil. You see them both on the same object. What object is that? Yes, you see them on a desk or a table. Listen, a shoe and a sock. You see them both on the same object. What object is that? Yes, you see them on a foot. Man, that was super easy, huh? All right, next exercise. Let's see how much information you remember. What do we call a person who helps people get well? Get ready. Yes, a doctor. Say the whole thing about a doctor. Get ready. Good job. A doctor is a person who helps people get well. What do we call a person who helps a doctor? Get ready. Good job, a nurse. Say the whole thing about a nurse. Get ready. Good, a nurse is a person who helps a doctor. What do we call something you take to get well? Get ready. Yes, medicine. Say the whole thing about medicine. Get ready. Good, medicine is something you take to get well. What do we call a person who goes to a doctor? Get ready. Good, a patient. Say the whole thing about a patient. Get ready. Awesome, a patient is a person who goes to a doctor. Now, get ready for some new information. Listen, a police officer is a person who helps keep people safe. Listen again, a police officer is a person who helps keep people safe. What do we call a person who helps keep people safe? Get ready. Yes, a police officer. Say the whole thing about a police officer. Get ready. Awesome. A police officer is a person who helps keep people safe. Now listen, what do we call a person who, who helps people get well? Get ready. Yes, a doctor. Say the whole thing about a doctor. Get ready. Yes, a doctor is a person who helps people get well. Now, what do we call a person who helps keep people safe? Get ready. Yes, a police officer. Say the whole thing about a police officer. Get ready. Awesome job. A police officer is a person who helps keep people safe. I'll turn the page and we'll see a picture of a police officer. What place do you see in this picture? Ooh, good guess, a city. What is a police officer doing? Yes, you're right. He's telling the car to stop. What else do you see in the picture? Ooh, you see the bus and the car? You see people walking? 
Awesome. Now, I want you to take a good look. First, I want you to touch a tall building. Good job. Now, I want you to touch a vehicle. Oh, you knew how to point those out right away. Good job. All right, we're gonna go ahead and go on to our next exercise. This time we're going to talk about plants. This is a plant, this is a plant, this is a plant, and this is a plant. Now we'll talk about each picture. Is this a plant? Get ready. Yes. Say the whole thing. Get ready. This is a plant. What kind of plant is this? Get ready. Yes, this plant is a carrot. Say the whole thing about this plant. Get ready. Awesome, this plant is a carrot. Is this a plant? Get ready. Yes, say the whole thing. Get ready. Yes, this is a plant. Now, what kind of plant is this? Get ready. Yes, this plant is a tree. Say the whole thing about this plant. Get ready. Awesome. Is this a plant? Get ready. Yes. Say the whole thing. Get ready. This is a plant. What kind of plant is this? Get ready. A bush. Yes, this plant is a bush. Say the whole thing about this plant. Get ready. Awesome. Is this a plant? Get ready. Yes. Say the whole thing. Get ready. This is a plant. What kind of plant? Get ready. Yes, this plant is a tree. Say the whole thing about this plant. Get ready. Good job. Awesome. All right. Next exercise. Ooh, it seems like they're trying to trick you. Don't get tricked. Look at these objects. Some of these objects are plants. When I touch an object, tell me if it's a plant. Is this a plant? Get ready. No. Is this a plant? Get ready. Yes. Is this a plant? Get ready. No. Is this a plant? Get ready. Yes. Listen, we'll talk about each picture. Is this a plant? Get ready. No. Say the whole thing. Get ready. Yes, this is not a plant. What is this? Get ready. A shoe. Say the whole thing. Get ready. This is a shoe. Awesome. Is this a plant? Get ready. Yes. What kind of plant is this? Get ready. A flower. Say the whole thing about this plant. Get ready. This plant is a flower. Listen. Is this plant a vine? Get ready. No. 
Is this plant a weed? Get ready. No, definitely not. Is this plant a flower? Get ready. Yes. Listen, is this a plant? Get ready. No. Say the whole thing. Get ready. This is not a plant. What is this? Get ready. A bottle. Say the whole thing. Get ready. This is a bottle. Is this a plant? Get ready. Yes. Say the whole thing. Oh, just kidding. What kind of plant is it? Get ready. A bush. Yes. Say the whole thing about this plant. Get ready. This plant is a bush. Is this plant a cabbage? Get ready. No, it doesn't look like a cabbage. Is this plant a bush? Get ready. Yes. Is this plant grass? Get ready. No, of course not. You did so good in that exercise. Awesome job. Now we have a new exercise. Listen. Look at this saw. Name the parts of the saw when I touch each part. Get ready. Yes, the handle. Get ready. Yes, the blade. Get ready. Yes, the teeth. Listen, everybody, name one thing that this blade could be made of. Yes, the blade could be made of metal. Everybody say the whole thing. Get ready. Good job. The blade could be made of metal. Now, name two things that this handle could be made of. Yes, the handle could be made of wood or plastic. Everybody say the whole thing. Get ready. Yes, the handle could be made of wood or plastic. Listen, why, don't, why wouldn't we want a saw blade that's made of glass? Why do you think the blade on a saw could not be made of glass? Ooh, that's a great idea. Miss Hernandez thinks that it couldn't be made of glass or else it would break if you try to cut something, right? Yep, same. Now, why wouldn't we want a handle that is made of cloth? You're right, the handle would move around. Imagine trying to cut something and your handle's just moving all over the place. Would you be able to cut it correctly? No, you wouldn't. Man, you're such a smart cookie. All right, something tells me we're almost close to the end. So keep pushing, okay? You're doing an awesome job. All right, these pictures tell a story about what a girl did. Listen, first, the girl put the apples in a basket. What did she do after she put the apples in the basket? Get ready. Yes, pull the wagon. What did she do after she pulled the wagon? Get ready. Yes, took the basket out of the wagon. 
What did she do after she took the basket out of the wagon? Get ready. Yes, washed the apples. Once more, this time I'm not going to point to the pictures. What did the girl do first? Get ready. Yes, put the apples in a basket. What did she do after she put the apples in a basket? Get ready. Awesome, pulled the wagon. And what did she do after she pulled the wagon? Get ready. Took the basket out of the wagon. And what did she do after she took the basket out of the wagon? Get ready. Wash the apples. Listen, what is a girl doing in this picture? Get ready. Washing the apples. Now think super hard. I'm not going to point to the pictures. What did she do just before she washed the apples? Get ready. Took the basket out of the wagon. Listen, what did she do just before she took the basket out of the wagon? Get ready. Pulled the wagon. And what did she do just before she pulled the wagon? Get ready. Yes, put the apples in a basket. Awesome job, man. You really know your before and your after. Listen, today we're going to do the parts of a wagon again. Everybody, what is this? Oh, Miss Hernandez said parts of a wagon. Super silly. Today we're going to do parts of a cabinet again. Listen, everybody, what is this? Get ready. A cabinet. Get ready to tell me the parts of a cabinet. What is this part called? Get ready. A countertop. What are these parts called? Get ready. Yes, doors. And what are these parts called? Get ready. Awesome, handles. Get ready to tell me the parts of a cabinet. Say the whole thing. Get ready. A cabinet has doors. Get ready. A cabinet has handles. Get ready. A cabinet has a countertop. And what's the whole object called? Get ready. A cabinet. Awesome job. What would you usually do with a cabinet, huh? Oh, that is an awesome response. Definitely put some belongings in there. Maybe things that you want to make sure they are nice and put away. That's what I would do with my cabinets, right? Guess what? We finished the lesson. Good job. That definitely deserves a round of applause. Good job. All right, let's go ahead and get started with our worksheet. All right, listen, find the girl. Did you find her? All right, listen, you're going to take a pink crayon. Do you have your pink crayon? Awesome. You are going to make the coat pink. What color? Get ready. Yes, pink. Listen, later you're going to color the rest of the girls' clothes any color you want. Get it, got it good? Awesome. Listen, 
Now we're going down at the bottom. All of these objects have one part that is the same. Raise your hand when you know the part that is the same. Good. Which part is the same? Get ready. Yes, the handles. My goodness, you found that out super fast. Now, here's a coloring rule for the part that is the same. Listen, color the part that is the same orange. Put an orange mark on the handles. You have five, four, three, two, one. All right, here's a rule about the two objects that have bristles. The bristles should be yellow. Make a yellow mark on the bristles. In five, four, three, two, one. Awesome, later you'll color the objects. All right, go ahead and turn your worksheet over. Awesome. Listen, look for the nail. Did you find it? Good. Here's a rule for this picture. The objects that are made of metal should be connected with a blue line. Connect the objects that are made of metal material. You have five, four, three, two, one, zero. Awesome. Here's another rule. Any animals that are doing the same thing should be connected with a brown line. Connect any animals that are doing the same thing. You have five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. Here is another rule. The objects that are clothing should be connected with a green line. Connect the objects that are clothing. You have five, four, three, two, one. Did you get it? Awesome. Now down at the bottom. Find the birds. Did you find them? Good. These pictures show one and more than one. Here's a coloring rule for the picture that shows cats. Listen, the cats in that picture should be black. Make a black mark in the picture that shows cats. You have five, four, three, two, one, zero. Good, let's go on to the next one. Here's a coloring rule for the picture that shows birds. The birds in that picture should be red. Make a red mark in the picture that shows birds. You have five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. Here's the rule for the picture that shows dogs. The dogs in that picture should be brown. Make a mark in that picture that shows dogs. You have five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Here's the very last rule. Cross out the pictures that do not show cats, birds, or dogs. You should be done in five, four, three, two, one. Later, you'll color the cats black, the birds red, and the dogs brown. Awesome. It was so nice to see you again and get to teach you. I'll see you again on Wednesday. Bye.